Women's Global Connection is an organization founded in 2001 by sisters Dorothy Edling and Naomi Hayes under the sponsorship of the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word and as an outgrowth of the congregation's option for the economically poor. WGC's mission is to promote the learning and leadership of women through collaborative networks and partnerships. It focuses on empowering women to work for transformative change in their families, their communities, and beyond. In 2003, WGC initiated Reach Out Africa to promote women's leadership in Zambia and Tanzania. Three intertwining principles guided ROA. First, the principle of local ownership, which required engaging the women themselves as active participants in improving their lives. Secondly, the principle of social empowerment, which assured that the local women could replicate any of the capacity building programs that WGC provided. And thirdly, the principle of sustainability, which held that each project undertaken had to be viable into the future without WGC. Reach Out Africa has actualized WGC's mission through key innovative partnerships, beginning with a link to the University of the Incarnate Word. Close collaboration with UIW provided a fruitful source of supporters, most especially of faculty and graduate student immersion teams. These volunteers offered scores of learning opportunities and capacity building workshops which have had a major impact on the families of Mongo and Bukoba. Through the experience, the volunteers' lives have been transformed. I considered myself on the road to becoming a scholar. Learning can come from many sources, and I discovered more about research in two weeks than I ever hoped to gain through the in-depth examination of scholarly texts. Traveling halfway around the world to Africa had taught me to be. Reach Out Africa has initiated two significant economic development partnerships with Manso Panzila in Mongo, Zambia, and with Buwea in Bukoba, Tanzania. WGC began work with three women in Mongo and made it possible for them to come to an international conference in San Antonio in 2004. Inspired by the conference, these three returned to Mongo and reached out to women eager to start the Manso Panzila Women's Empowerment Association. Manzu Panzila aims to assist vulnerable women in beginning and managing micro-enterprises to raise their standard of living. The WGC Manzu Panzila Partnership empowered the women to organize a local economic conference for 100 of their peers, to expand their revolving loan fund, and to develop networks of local and national government agencies to assist their economic progress. WGC Immersion Trips offered workshops in business practices and recruited global business partners. Global business partners are individuals and organizations who contribute $200 to help a woman expand her home business. Today, Manzu Panzila includes over 30 confident women who run individual home businesses, manage a revolving loan fund, and a rice growing cooperative. They are planning a mango processing plant which will give employment and economic opportunity to many local families. A second major economic collaborative is Buwea the Bukoba Women's Empowerment Association in Northern Tanzania. Buwea began as a prayer and support group. Because bank loans were not available to these women, they started a merry-go-round, a small revolving fund to help each other begin homegrown businesses, such as a pig or chicken farm. WGC has collaborated with Buwea to build this revolving loan fund through the Alternative Giving Program. Donors in the U.S. can contribute as little as $36 to enable a woman to start a home business. Since 2003, WGC has been a conduit for over $45,000 in alternative giving donations. Hundreds of families have benefited. Mamarita Boniface was one of the beneficiaries. She lives in Kabale Village in rural Bacoba. Like many other women in the region, she struggles to find ways to support her nuclear and extended family. About four years ago, Mamarita received a loan of $50 from Bacoba Revolving Fund. She used the capital to diversify her inventory, selling items such as rice, beans, flour, matchboxes, cooking oil, coffee berries, and some other basic products that are in high demand in the villages. Jonaya Pastori is another example. She sells tea and cakes at local schools close to her home. Through a grant, she was able to get a small metal roof to place over a cafe that she created outside her house. Here are her words of gratitude. I am Jonaya Pastori. I make tea and sell it at schools. 
When I got support from Global Business Partner, I bought more caps and big flags. I am now selling more tea and cakes. Then I received a loan in December because I was in need of a kiosk where I could sell tea at my home. Now I have iron sheets that provide shelter. I am very happy. Euphrasia is another enterprising businesswoman. She was sponsored by a global business partner from the U.S. to expand her handcraft business. She learned basket weaving several years ago, but only started to commercialize baskets in the past two years, when Buwea purchased her baskets for the annual basket sale in the U.S. She used the investment of $180 from her business partner to buy materials, raffia, natural dyes, grass, and needles. She also used part of the money to buy a goat. Euphrasia now sells milk and fish that she purchases from local fishermen. The WGC Buwea partnership changed the Bukoba region dramatically. WGC provided an outlet for basket sales to augment the revolving fund, assisted Buwea in developing a major soy cultivation and production project, and promoted a women's learning center. Immersion teams have offered capacity building in microfinance, accounting, computer technology, grant writing, small business startups, nutrition, and water access. Over 150 members in 16 villages have savings and credit accounts and are connected to government agencies helpful for their business enterprises. In collaboration with the Incarnate Word Missionary Program, WGC sent a volunteer to work with Buwea for two years to help with technology, record keeping, and grant writing. One of the first grants Buwea received was from the Flora Family Foundation. Buwea's goal is to use a portion of this grant money to sponsor three to five Buwea members each month with a practical item that will help them expand their business. I am Rosemary. I'm doing well in my project of selling fish. When I got support from a global business partner, I extended my project and started selling fish in three different villages. I was carrying them on my head. I applied for a loan from the Revolving Loan Fund to continue to build my business. Now I have a new bicycle. I am very happy. It is very helpful for me. This will allow me to pay school fees for my children. My husband is very happy too. He will help me to collect fish from a village about 30 miles away. Thanks a lot. Significant educational partnerships developed alongside the economic ones. In Tanzania, WGC partnered with Akima Secondary School, a university preparatory school serving 500 rural girls who might otherwise not receive an education. WGC has provided professional preparation for teachers and a leadership training for the girls. Recognizing the importance of access to the internet, WGC secured a grant to set up a computer lab at the school. To help remedy a math deficiency at Hikima, WGC developed a math learning center to promote math skill proficiency. As a result, the school now ranks sixth in its zone of over 200 schools, and the girls are more likely to pass national exams which are the gateway to university education. An ambitious partnership arose in Zambia. Knowing the critical importance of early childhood education, WGC took several steps with the Mongo community to address the needs of thousands of young children impacted by the HIV AIDS epidemic and to close the gap in teacher preparation for preschool programs. In association with Catholic Relief Services, WGC sponsored a major Children Under 7 conference to highlight the status of young children. In collaboration with the University of Zambia, the Ministry of Education, and UNICEF, WGC conducted countrywide research on developmental needs of Zambia's children. Using this data, WGC initiated annual teacher training workshops, culminating in a teacher training institute whose goal was to promote comprehensive, holistic family learning centers to serve vulnerable children and their caregivers. The Teacher Training Institute helped enhance the classroom environment and curriculum initiated online mentoring of teachers who then became mentors for their peers, and focused the attention of school directors on the special needs of young children. WGC saw important behavioral changes in how teachers improved the learning process for preschool children. It also witnessed the coming together of critical partners in this educational enterprise. At this pivotal point of five years experience in Reach Out Africa project, WGC hopes to transfer its learning from these partnerships to other countries, most immediately with women in Peru and Mexico, whose lives and livelihoods can be impacted for the better through culturally sensitive and respectful collaboration. Key to producing these wonderful outcomes is the partnership with U.S. donors. 
WGC offers heartfelt thanks to those who bought African baskets, participate in the alternative giving program, and have given major grants to support these efforts and small grants to support an individual enterprise. Special recognition is due to those who gave time and expertise to immersion trips, to planning and technology sessions, or to behind the scenes work that made the wheels of WGC turn to a multitude of initiatives. To all of you who supported our efforts, we say thanks. We count on your continued partnership as we enter into the next five years of promoting the leadership and learning to some of the most vulnerable women worldwide. Oh yeah,